Well, hello everyone and welcome to Steve Play City Skylines. This is episode 15 of my Swensdale build and I hope you're all well today. So today, I think I'm going to keep this one fairly short. I want to look at some supply chain issues that I've got around, particularly it's around the industry's DLC stuff. Um, so three main areas, Florence Orchard, which is my farming area, Strokeswood, which is forestry, and then the Madison drilling area, which is oil. At the moment, I don't have any uh, ore industry, but I will do uh, when I expand, probably over here, which is very ore rich. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. So I've got issues around, well, this sort of thing, uh, which has been bugging me for ages, actually, um, where you've got these uh, producers that are saying they don't have enough raw materials, and yet, if I click on the, I'm exporting all that. So I've, I've got crops to spare, but I think that's the problem. Uh, I'm out of balance. So I'm going to try to rebalance this and then check the other areas as well and make sure that uh, I don't have problems in the making. So um, I hope you enjoy this. And if you do, please consider subscribing and uh, click on the bell if you want notifications of new videos. I publish fairly frequently. I, like, I used to say at least once a week, but I did have a little bit of a gap, but I'm back now. So uh, let's just get on with this, shall we? Right, OK, so looking at this, what I've got, um, I need to put in some more production, probably a bit more storage as well. Uh, so let's have a look in the farming and see what I can do. I thought about the slaughterhouse. I'm not squeamish about that, but look at the size of it. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in another milking parlour. But then looking at the looking at the balance, I'm producing more uh, animal products than flour, and that will have just added to it. So I need at least one more flour mill in there, I think. Oops, wrong tab. So flour mill. I think I just had them placed right, right next to each other to sort of make a big complex. So at first they're going to be flashing away and saying that they've got no, um, they've got no uh, products, not enough raw materials. Sorry. I think I'll put in a bit more storage as well. Uh, so let's uh, let's have a think. Keep to keep clicking. Uh, I've got my mind focused on education. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in the next episode. Things are, uh, I've let things slide on the education front. But just for now, let's put in a large grain silo. Um, let's pop that in here. And I think I'll put in a, a barn as well, just for a bit of, uh, rather than keep putting silos in. Put in you know, a little bit of variety. Let's pop that in there. Right, so I've got a bit more storage to kind of um, mop up uh, immediate production and then distribute it out to these extra facilities that I've built. So I'm going to leave that for now and then come back to it later and see how that's got on. So. Bearing that balancing act in mind, let's have a look at our um, forestry. So that's actually looking OK in that I'm not exporting. Let's have a see. So 35 tonnes of product is going to plain timber. Another eight tonnes is going to paper. I'm only making 37 tonnes. The reason why that's OK at the moment is that I've got these, um, these mustn't be exporting in the same way that the farming is. These seem to be just gradually drawing down. So that's OK, but it's something I need to bear in mind that I may need to put in some more plantations at some point. Uh, in fact, if we just go over to the industry area briefly, I'm thinking to put in a bit more paper production because I've got two factories that use paper. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to put a pulp mill in. Uh, 
The trouble with a pulp mill is it is actually a polluter. I've cleared myself a bit of space here and I'll have to see how far the pollution radius goes. This area was going to be, if I needed it, sort of an overspill um, plantation area. So I may have to just sort of tweak the trees back a bit from the pollution radius, but we'll see when it goes in. So, forestry, pulp mill. I want to put it like that. No, I don't. Let's get it as far away from those trees as possible, actually. Let's put it like that. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm just going to just, just for almost like a visual reference, really, I just want to just tweak these trees away slightly just kind of like cues me in that there's a bit of a pollution radius there so that's now in place um so again i'll let the game run in a minute and then look at um look at how the levels are balancing um so uh should actually be showing even more of a deficit and then i'll uh, maybe look at putting in a little bit more plantation there OK, so down to the oil area. OK, so again, same sort of thing. I'm actually consuming more than I'm producing. I'm consuming about, uh, well, about 10 or 35 barrels consumed, 24 produced. Again, because I put in this storage early, at the moment, I think that's kind of... Um, that's coping. Uh, it's produ It's supplying, hopefully, to these. I'm not seeing resource, you know, resource uh, indicators flashing at the moment. But I may have to put in just a little bit more production soon. But I'm going to leave that just for now. Right. So up here, I've got. I, I want the final thing that I want to do before I start the game going is I want to put in a couple of warehouses uh, to put. The raw materials for these um, for these unique factories close at hand. And I'm going to use this area here off this road. So what do I need? Paper plastics, all the animal products and plain timber. So that's a fair few, that's a fair few warehouses, isn't it? Uh, so let's go into industries, warehouse. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a medium warehouse for paper because I've got two separate um, plants that need that. And then the rest I'm going to go with small, I think. Um, what's the difference? Capacitor. OK. Or do I go with a warehouse yard and small warehouses? Hmm. Let's just have a look how big they are. That's so there's the warehouse yard. Small. Medium. I'm not even getting into large warehouse. I don't think I need that. So medium warehouse has a capacity of four hundred thousand units. No, I don't think I need. I think I need the. Um, I think I'll go small because I'm just looking at storage. Forty-eight tons on the. Um, Twenty-six. Right. I think the smallest uh, warehousing will do the trick, actually. So let's start with. Let's start with a warehouse yard, and I want it onto that road. There. And I want a couple of those. Actually, I want three of those. Let's put a small warehouse in there. 
And another warehouse yard in there. And then let's... Um, let's give them the right stuff. So I want... I want plain timber. That was for paper. Okay. Um, let's have a see. Um, I wanted animal products. What else? Crops and flour. Flour. What I really should have done, of course, I should have. Mm. I'm just going to uh, move its great, isn't it? You can just cheat your way out of trouble. Uh, I'm just going to tweak these along a little bit. I want to put in an access road like that. Uh, oops. And I just want to put another warehouse in. So there's basically going to be three here. What have we got? So we've got oops. So that's flour. That's animal products. I need another one for um crops. Right. Crops. Let's see if I can store crops in a warehouse. That's um No I can't because it's it's like the raw material. Okay, what am I gonna do with that? I think what I need to do is that should have been I would say a small barn, maybe. Doesn't really look industrial enough, does it? Let's make it a small grain silo. And I can actually, can I put that in? I can. All right, so. Got a grain silo. That at the moment, I haven't allocated it. I'll leave it, um, but I haven't actually... Um, I'll, oh yes, actually, what I can do is I can make it plastics. Aha! Plastics. There we go. Right, so hopefully this will mean that these have now got, when these start to fill, they should have resource nice and handy. Um, these things obviously are going to cost me. But hopefully the fact that these can be kept running uh, without ever stopping because they've run out of uh, raw material, hopefully that will pay and then some for having put these in. Right. So let's unpause the game and see what happens. And I may, I may either speed this up or uh, I'll just cut to uh, cut to a date in a, in a month's time or so. Let's give it a go. Now, while I'm waiting, I put these in originally because this, this roundabout was getting really congested, but... Uh, I was debating taking these sort of slip roads out, but I think I'm going to get rid of that one, because I think this has pretty much taken the traffic out from there. So interestingly, the flour mill straight away has um, 
has started taking deliveries and producing. But I'm still having problems here. But we'll, uh, like I say, it's very early days. I think we're waiting on... Um, we're waiting on, on the trucks coming back to the grain silos. Because they're all out, all over the place, all over the map. Hopefully, when they come back, they can start to uh, to pick up orders from these. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Moving down here. Yep, that's got plenty of product. I think these are gradually emptying. Let's have a look. 35. Oh no, they're filling. So 63 tons going in. 35 and 11 at the moment showing. So maybe I need even more production capacity there. Let's have a look down here. 32 in. 35 out. So that's pretty much balanced. Right. I think it's this farming area that's really giving me... Oh, no water. Pause. Bear with. Okay. I should have dealt with that. Okay, so we've got some... Some stuff getting delivered here, animal products. Starting to fill. So hopefully these have got an easy supply there now. I think these are all mail trucks, yeah. So, a bit of a shortage of paper at the moment. Hopefully that will be corrected when the pulp mill starts to um, grind away. We have a train in. And when this arrives, let's see where it's um, where it's heading. Hopefully, it's going to stock up some of these. Oh, where are they? Aha! Paper products, excellent. Paper products, planed timber. Yeah. Okay. So so far, so good. Uh, these are starting to take deliveries, which basically what I'm trying to do is bring the supply of uh, raw materials close to these factories. And so these are filling up. And this one now is just starting to take deliveries, which is good. And where's that going? So straight away, that's off to deliver paper products to the printing press. Even though now it's actually stocked itself up. Maybe that was from an external or maybe it was a direct delivery. But this is good, I think. I think these are going to do the job for me. Uh, it would appear the students are partying again.
Yep. Okay, good out. Now, it's actually quite scary. <laughs> Having done all this to try to make things better, I seem to be losing money. Why? What's going on? I've, has my transport jammed up or something? Problems anywhere? That's flowing. Last time this happened, I had a massive traffic jam somewhere, so I'm just paranoid now about the roundabouts in particular. But that all seems fine. But I'm making a massive loss. And it could just be that because these, yeah, because they're not exporting now, because they're filling up uh, those, um, those warehouses that I've put in. I think this is what it is. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Yeah. These industry areas were delivering. Oh, see, I mean, that's still delivering a decent profit, but I haven't put in anything really. I've put in, I've put in plastic storage. I think I did. It's more these two areas where I've 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 basically put in extra production. So short term, maybe I would expect a loss. I just hope that that sorts itself out when these start to uh, actually deliver products. So I'll just keep an eye there. I mean, I've got a reasonable reserve, so I can I can I can take a bit of. Uh, I can take a bit of a loss of a weekly income, but not sustained. I say, I think, I think that's what that might be. So I'm back in the green again now. So hopefully that'll start to build. It does appear to be. Okay. Right. So I'm happy over here, I think. There seems to be everything that the industry needs all getting stocked up. And their deliveries are being made to these three manufacturing plants, which is what I want. So let's have a see what's going on here. So... For now, these seem to be doing okay. And what I'm really liking is that the freight trucks are all ready to go in my crop storage areas. None of them are out. Well, there's one out from there. But virtually all of them are available to deliver. As required. And although I am exporting a little. It's nowhere near what it was. I think I could probably still do with making a bit of a bit more flour. So let's. Um. Let's move that up and let's put in another. Go away. Flour mill. And then I'm going to leave that be. Okay, happy. There's a very slight discrepancy here, but I've got at the moment I've got plenty. I've got plenty stored. 
so hopefully that will be okay um, for now and then down to the oil area 35 oh 35 used oh 24 produced storage is starting to be drawn down it's okay for now I will put in uh, I'll put in a bit more uh, production in a bit but right now I'm quite happy actually for these to be these um, storage areas just to be being drawn down a touch right okay so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, pause the recording a bit let this run a bit so where are we on now um, middle of uh, middle of September let's give it a, a, a week or two and then I'll come back to it and we'll see what the uh, production is looking like and whether I finally cross fingers uh, cured these um, these resource issues that I've been being plagued with um, gosh look at all these coming out of here where are they all going exports So all the freight trucks are in use now but I still have I have other capacity where the trucks aren't being used fine happy right I'm gonna pause I'm gonna pause the recording and I'll come back in a month or so in game time and we'll see we'll see where things are up to okay so just back very briefly just to show you that actually my intercity stuff is working there's actually two intercity buses here um, this is I think the stock uh, bus and this is the ride intercity uh, bus which is looks, looks rather nice um, so there they've just dropped off actually um, and also I um, probably won't bother showing you this but um, as you can see I have trains inbound as well in two trains actually when you get down quite a way <laughs> you've got one coming in this way and one coming in this way so um that's working as well so um i was a bit concerned about that because nothing seemed to be happening but whether it maybe it just takes a little bit of time for the game to kind of realize that that those facilities are there right okay so i'll get back to you as i said in about a month in game time um to see how that industry is getting on OK, folks, we're back. It's uh, just, uh, I think, about five weeks on from uh, from when I started. So let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at how things are doing. So first, really, please, no resource flashing warnings. Uh, just have a quick flick through them all. They're all they all seem to have a healthy supply of crops. That's good. Yep, that one's a little bit low, but I'm sure there'll be delivery on the way. That's exporting. Uh, let's have a look at the storage. So good. These are starting to come down a little, which is great because they're supposed to be balanced, but they were almost all totally full. So I'm happy with that. I'm making a decent chunk of money. Let's have a look at how the figures stack up. So 20, so 33. Uh, what's that? 59, 62 tons used, 58 tons produced. That will be fine for some time. It does fluctuate a little bit either way, uh, but there's plenty stored. Uh, so I'll just keep an eye on that. But for now, that's actually as I want it. Uh, it's pretty much in balance. So let's have a look down here in uh, Strokes Wood again. I've got no flashing indicators. There's markets for all their products. These aren't short of anything, but they're nicely stocked up, which is great. Uh, let's have a look at the figures. What are three tons? So 35, what's that? 46, 51 tons required. Maybe I need to put another plantation in. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on that. But for now, Maybe these are drying down a touch, but it's fine. Um, so, yeah, maybe one more plantation in there just to try to put a nice balance in. Uh, yeah, uh, 
these are flashing um, energy indicator. This is uh, this is a brand new uh, plant that I've put in, um, and I think that seems to have tipped the energy balance. But I'll, I've dealt with that, so I'll come back to it and then unpause, and they should disappear quite quickly. Um, so yes, I. 25 35 32 produce so it's pretty much in balance and i've got healthy stocks so again just one just to keep an eye on but at least okay that one's flashing uh, not enough um but it's it's not got enough raw materials but that's because literally i've just placed that so i'll just come back to i'll just do one last come back to this in say Oh, I don't know, another month, uh, and then I'll finish this um, this video off. And just to show you the industry over here, these storages are filling up nicely, with the exception of paper, but the furniture factory is just stocked up, so I think that's taken some of the supply from here. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully more paper coming along. All of these uh, specialist industries are nicely supplied and making me... A nice amount of money and if we have a look at how my profit is doing i'm making a very nice weekly income now after those few weeks where it all went into the red for a while and i think it was because these were stocking up rather than the products being sold i am hopeful that i've sorted for now my supply chain problems so I'm going to let the game run for one more month and then I'll come back and we'll wrap up. OK, back for the final time before I wrap this one up. So around about a month has passed again. So let's just have a look and see how we're doing. So no resource flashing indicators. Really happy there. Um, what are we doing here? 2933, so that's about 61 tons, so not quite producing what we need, but plenty in storage. So for now, not worried about that at all. Strokes wood again, everything's fine, everything working as it should. Plenty of raw materials in the factories. What are the figures? Um, 35. 45, 51 tons required, 43 tons produced. I will put another plantation in uh, fairly soon, I think. And then down here again, everything's running fine. As you can see, this factory is now producing. It's full of oil and it's kicking out plastics. What are we doing? 28 barrels produced. Need to start. I need to put some more production in there as well. But for now, the storage is picking up the slack. We're not importing. That's fine. We're making a reasonable profit. So I'll put a little bit more production oil production in there. Over here in the industry area, again, everything's working fine. Everything seems to be nicely supply supplied. Uh, animal products there are a little bit low, but I'm, what we've got here. But as you can see, the storage is absolutely full. Um, all the trucks are in use, so they're, they're probably exporting. Damn it. Uh, where's that coming from? Well, there's one fairly, there's at least one truck coming back that's fairly close. And then there's one here. Where's that? You see, that one has been exporting. It's coming back from... God knows where. This is the problem. Got to try to keep your trucks local, I think. Anyway, all right. I think we're OK still just about for the moment. So what I think I'm going to do, actually, is pop in a couple more of the unique factories and then we'll call it a day. And of course, that'll probably, probably throw all my production chains out and I'll have to do this all over again. But let's just have a quick look. What have we got now? Um, so they're already done. What can we do with this? Household plastics factory. How big? Oh, God. Um, right. It won't go sideways. No. All right. I'll deal with that in a minute. A toy factory. Well, that will fit in there nicely. 
Did it go in there? No, not quite. Um, I'm going to put it that way. Paper, plain timber and plastics, of which I think plastics is doing well, but that's the that's the lowest that I've got. Plain timber, that warehouse is almost full. What was the other one? Paper should be in there. Yeah, I need to look at my paper production a little bit, I think. But so far, so good with that. And then the other one that I can pop in is... Also plastic, I can do that. Oh, clothing factory as well. I can do that. How big is that? Another beast. And you can't put it... You can't put it side on. It's got to be going back off the road. Okay, well, I'll find... I'll find spaces for... Oh, what's this one? can't build that yet. I need some sort of mineral. Um, crops, paper, petroleum, plastic special. Yeah, I can do that. Another massive factory. Wow. I think I might have to have almost a separate. I mean, I think I'm going to outgrow this area. I've got the smaller ones in here. I may have to put in a second industry area. Uh, which is good because it um, would appear that it's screaming out for industry, but maybe maybe I'm going to have to put something in down here for these humongous factories. Maybe I'll think about that. Right, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I need to ponder on those big factories, but. Everything seems to be going nicely, making steady money. Um, yeah, OK, so there we go. So I think for now, at least, I seem to have finally got to grips with the supply chain stuff that's been plaguing me, especially here where there's been so many uh, of these production uh, facilities that are basically screaming that they haven't got any raw product i think i've got that sorted now so i'm going to leave it there guys i uh, hope you found that useful interesting amusing whatever i hope to see you in the next episode till then you take care bye now